Good morning, Mrs. Olson, teachers and students. Please stand respectfully. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you lead the prayer of your beloved servant, Eva. You graciously grant favors through her intercession, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For our school friends and benefactors, especially for Mrs. Castor, we offer our daily prayers. St. Dominic Savio, pray for us. St. Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So to the cross. I pledge allegiance to the cross of Christ and to the church for which it stands, one holy, Catholic, and apostolic, with grace and salvation for all. So to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a great start to your Wednesday morning. We're so proud to present awards in mass today. Uh, thank you to the parents who joined us for those awards. Uh, please join me in uh, prayer for those sick in our community, for those fighting cancer like Teacher Carrie, for those who are recovering from surgery like Heather, and for all those in our community with illnesses such as um, COVID and other illnesses. So we uh, pray for their uh, quick return to health. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I'm going to call these students to come down to uh, the office, and then uh, we'll present awards to them um, immediately following our Lenten devotion. Catherine in seventh grade. Alexis G in seventh grade, Lloyd, Rose, and Alari. Wednesday, the first week of Lent, and the space between. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. On December 7th, 1914, a ceasefire was suggested in World War I to celebrate Christmas. Although top officials rejected it, the German and English soldiers on the front lines stopped firing on Christmas Eve and sang Christmas carols to each other across enemy lines. When the sun came up on Christmas morning, some German soldiers laid down their weapons and walked into no man's land saying, Merry Christmas in English. The English soldiers joined them. They shook hands, traded presents of cigarettes and food, and some even played soccer together. The day that Jesus was born is so infused with love, it filled the space between the enemy's trenches, creating peace for a day. That love still exists now, and we're supposed to sing it across our own enemy lines. If Jesus could forgive those who crucified him on the cross, we can lay down our weapons of hate and anger, no matter how badly people treat us. Like Jesus did, we need to make the first move, taking a step toward those who've hurt us. When they see we have love in our hearts, we inspire them to take a step toward us. When we meet in the middle and exchange kindness with our actions and words, we too create peace in the space between us. Receive mercy. Ultimate peacemaker, shed in my heart so I'm able to forgive my enemies and wish them peace. Amen. Extend mercy. Write a prayer for someone you're having trouble with. Work for a ceasefire by praying that both of your hearts become filled with peace. And with that message of peace, boys and girls, I ask you to pray for the people in the Ukraine who are uh, suffering in an unjust war, that there may be peace in that region. We all pray. Amen. Okay, I'd like to um, invite some of these students to come forward. Catherine. 
was observed being a faith-filled Christian. Kaplan has memorized all the prayers and participates in morning prayer daily. Catherine, thank you so much. Come on over here, right there. Lloyd. Lloyd uh, was observed being a faith-filled Christian. He participated in prayer by reciting them out loud today. Thank you so much. Alexis G was observed being a faith-filled Christian. Alexis came to school with a positive attitude and greeted her classmates. Thank you, Alexis. Rose. Rose was observing a culturally competent citizen. Rose encouraged her classmate to recycle. Thank you, Rose. Alari. Alari was observing a culturally competent citizen. She noticed a student by herself and invited her to sit with them. Thank you, Alari. Boys and girls, we love taking this opportunity to recognize students and their work towards uh, our grad profile pillars and also towards kindness in our community. Let's give uh, these seventh graders a nice round of applause. This class I'm sure you're applauding. All right, uh, other things happening. We have been raising about $1,000 a day for our walkathon. Congratulations to all of you, but we are not done yet. Our goal is $30,000. There's still another week of fundraising. So um, let's get to it. Our, our walkathon is on March 18th. That's next Friday. And we look forward to having um, a sea of green with our green walkathon shirts and uh, lots and lots of fun. Thanks so much for all of that. Um, I'd like to ask Jalen in third grade, Yorelli in seventh grade, and Rose, the birthday girl, is already here. So you're Yureli and Jalen, come on out because it's birthday time. Miss Elizabeth, don't leave me. <laughs> Jalen, how old are you? Nine. Nine, excellent. We have um, Rose, how old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen, and I'll bet Yureli is probably pretty close to the same. All right, Yureli, I'm sure she's running down here right now because she's so excited to have us sing to her in front of everyone. Um, other things happening this week, this afternoon, our teachers will be doing some collaboration. Um, don't forget that Friday, there is no school for students. It is a teacher um, a professional learning day. And um, don't forget about our walkathon. Yureli, come on up here. Nice try hiding in the back. You can stand here in front of Lloyd because it's your birthday. All right, Miss Elizabeth. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lord. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Excellent. I love when you get the professional singer. All right, guys, happy birthday. Um, congratulations, seventh graders, for your grad profile pillars. Boys and girls, have a wonderful rest of the day. You are free to go.